Hello everyone and welcome back to WoW Classic. Last time we kind of forgot to turn this quest in that we'd completed, so let's do that first. What would you ask of death? Have you defeated Nightlash? Our success against the Rothides depends on her destruction. I heard of your successful raid against the Rothides, and this essence is proof of Nightlash's death. The scourge of lost ground this day, the value to the Forsaken grows. Uh, what did we get? Oh, cloth boots. Great. We've discovered a new hive for the Scourge, the Decrepit Fairy. The Fairy lies east of the Sepulchre and is heavily patrolled by Rothides and other undead. There must be a reason for the Scourge's occupation of the area. Go to the Decrepit Fairy and find out why the Scourge are there. Watch your back. Uh, we could do that. Let's see. Are we going to find the Dark Souls and the Gluttons over by the Decrepit Fairy? I'm pretty sure they were, if not right there, then they were nearby. Right in this general area. So maybe we'll get really lucky and we'll be able to do two quests at the same time. Uh, as for food for our boar... Apothecary... General Supplies... Mushroom Merchant... A bowyer. I guess the innkeeper is the the best chance of just having regular food that the bo that the bear can eat. And you are. But not really. I mean, not in like he not unless he loves mushrooms. Beware. We will see. We'll see if it boosts his happiness level. Oh, it did. Okay, so they're gonna eat. They're gonna eat anything. They obviously have things that they probably prefer, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna affect us too much. I hope you are all doing well this morning, and I want to say thank you guys for joining me here. And thank you for your continued support of the series. Having a lot of fun on the Hunter, so I really do appreciate it. Alright, these are Ravenclaw servants. Let's look a little bit south and see if we can find... Oh, it was by the mine, right? It was over here. Let's head down to the mine. And when we head north, we will cut over to the decrepit ferry and see if we can find out what's going on there. That's just a white scalp. Alright, our bear is just really unable to pull any kind of aggro off of us, unfortunately. That's just the way that it is right now. Sorry, the music here is kind of off the chain. It's a little better. We have to send him in first if we want him to pick up any threat.
And even that doesn't really help a whole lot, does it? Ah, oh, God, I tried to divert him at the last minute. Well, there's one shackle out of six for the gluttons. We still need all the dark souls. All of the dark souls. All right. I'm hoping there are some in this mine because we're not going to get them all out here. I am going to start using Immolation Trap, I swear. These guys go down so easy, it's almost not worth the button press. Ooh, there are a lot of them out here. Oh, we're gonna use this trap. take out the ones over here before we head into the mine. I'm hoping that the respawn rate doesn't screw us over like it tends to do in areas like this where the mobs are really packed together. But we'll see. about to run back into the mine. We could stop and get some mana. We could. It often doesn't seem entirely necessary to do that right now. Another interesting music track change. Hmm. Let's wait till that guy kind of walks away a little bit around the corner. There we go. Uh, you didn't hit my trap. You didn't hit my trap at all. That is not acceptable.
Well, he's gaining levels, but he's gaining them really slowly. I'd hoped he would gain them a little bit faster, but we are only fighting guys that are level 13, so... If we were fighting level 18 mobs, then he might be getting more experience. Okay, there we go. This is a weird music track to be playing in this in this mine. I don't know. And I feel like it completely ignores the volume setting I have it at. Uh, yeah, I guess we're getting both of them. Fun times. Oh, we're getting all three. Oh, good. Yeah, we need to get some distance. Never been more glad that we're out level for this area. Cloth plus fire spell damage. Infantry eggs the eagle. Those are male. Can't wear those. We really aren't getting a lot of the Dark Soul Shackles. And by not getting a lot, I mean we haven't gotten any. This guy's name is Grims in the Pale. Uh, we don't have a quest for him. And he didn't drop anything valuable. But he was level 15. This mine didn't go very deep, did it? At least they're respawning outside. Like, right outside. Oh, great! Should've laid a trap down. Oh my god! Wait, they're respawning behind us too? What in the actual frick? Yeah, we're just a little dazed. Okay, then. Hey, there's our first shackle. All right. Oh, we just have to get jumped by every respawn to start getting items. Marvelous. I love it. I love the respawn rate in Classic. Did I ever say how much I love it? Oh, I love it. It's the best. It's the best gameplay mechanic that you don't want and never asked for. If they could stop respawning for a minute, we could, you know, get the heck out of here. Oh, they're not gonna stop respawning? Oh, okay. Oh, good. Uh, okay. I was gonna say, where is our bear at? Is he getting into trouble? I feel like I don't even have time to be skinning these guys. And that's not good. We 
we got a couple of items, so we made out, but we almost got killed by a bunch of low-level guys because of the respawn rates. Okay, so are there guys hanging out outside? I don't see any. Let's grab you. Lovely, lovely. We can't back up much more because we'll back up into more respawns. I'm positive of it. At least we have our skill and staves all the way up now. Or it has to be pretty close to being all the way up. Are we? Are we? We're full on inventory. Lovely, I love it. Okay then, let's drop that. Oh boy. Actually, we don't need that anyway. Okay, we need to start making our way out of here. We need one and one. Ooh, a journeyman's robe. Cloth. Right after we're done with this, um... <laughs> I'm going to be headed to Undercity to see if we can train our pet and at least get him taunt. I feel like we have to be able to at least get him that. Right now, I, it's at a point where I'd rather have a wolf or something that's going to deal more damage because he's not holding aggro. So we might as well have something with more attack power if we're going to be tanking all the enemies. Like It could work either way, but I just want to be optimized for whatever's happening. He, he needs to at least have taunt. And then maybe we stable him and then get a DPS pet. Pretty sure each town has a stable master. There's one in the sepulcher. Oh, these guys aren't worth any experience down here. Not well, the level 12 guys aren't. Alright, no items from any of these guys down here. Perfect. It's okay, I'm sure there are respawns back in the mine. <laughs> yeah. Right, this guy's back up. That guy's back up. These guys are gonna pop up any minute. There's our last glutton shackle. Probably just drink to full mana really quick. Won't take more than a couple seconds here. 
it's kind of the good thing is even when we do have to drink the full, we don't have an incredibly deep mana pool, so it doesn't take very long. Inventory's full. Lovely. Yeah, we knew that already. Pull back here. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> not about the bear. Not without taunt. Uh, you're a glutton. We need Dark Souls, but I'm not going to make the mistake of leaving you alive. He's going to pull both these guys, right? Uh, no he didn't. Oh, we caught a respawn, or does he, or is he still alive? Oh, that's a respawn. Lovely. He didn't even get to lay down a trap. All right, we are gonna get out of here. Let's heal our pet up really quick. Give him some food, and let's run up this way. We should be able to pop over here along the mountains and quickly investigate the decrepit ferry before heading back to the sepulcher. That's the plan. Pretty sure we have to go all the way down to the dock. Oh, these guys are level 16. It's a little bit more of a challenge. Looks like our bear just got level 14, so he is leveling up. Uh, fighting this high level guy might have helped. Could have just been a coincidence. I'm not sure exact. oh look. I was gonna say I'm not sure what we're looking for, but they've been so kind as to mark it on the minimap for us. A place that I rarely look in Classic for quest help. Since our inventory is full, it's probably going to be an item we have to pick up, isn't it? Corpse-laden boat. Heaped within this boat is a pile of wrapped corpses, and looking east across Lordermere Lake, an opposing dock on Fenrir Isle can be seen. The fate of the corpses must lie on Fenrir Isle. Is it Fenrir or Fenris? I've always pronounced it with a silent S, but I don't know why. Rothide clues. Among the corpses, a hand protrudes, unwrapped. It is the hand of a woman, pockmarked from the plague, but relatively fresh. On the hand is a ring. Removing the ring and inspecting it reveals an engraving. For Delia. Bring Delia's ring to High Executor Hadric. <laughs> okay. Uh, what needs to go? Not you. Probably you. Now we have to channel again. Alright, there we go. Let's get ourselves back to the Sepulchre. I'm gonna avoid fighting as many of these guys as we can. We're, we're probably gonna be sent back over here on a 
kill quest. That being said, since they are level 16, I'm not going to let them chase us down. We'll fight them if there's not a way around them. Our pet could use the experience anyhow. I don't want to fight too many because obviously we can't uh, we can't pocket any of their stuff. I'm gonna have to invest in some ten slot bags pretty soon. I think that's probably a wise move. We don't exactly have the the gold for it, but. We might never get the gold for it if we can't make more inventory space and lug more stuff around with us. You can kind of see some blue in the sky if you look straight up and it's the middle of the day. A little bit of sunlight peeks through here and there. It reminds me of the weather in Michigan right now, actually. It's perpetually gray, but every once in a while some sunshine peeks through. It looks like this. Like, you at first can't even tell that it's sunshine, and then you're like, oh, it's marginally brighter here than the rest of the gloomy world. The sun must be out. Uh, that being said, all the snow has started to melt, and it looks like it's going to keep melting, so I'm grateful for that at least. Instead of being white and gray, it'll be brown and gray. Speak quickly. I hope I can acquire enough energy from such a limited sample. Perhaps I should have, g have you had... Perhaps I should have had you get more shackles. Nonetheless, you showed great skill in collecting these, Hunter. Ergil's folly continues. It will indeed take me longer than I had thought to uncover the dark secrets behind the enchantments Aragol was using. But in the meantime, I need you to take care of a slight problem our dark stalkers have undiscovered. It seems that Aragol let his magic spread from the deep Elam mine in the hills to the southeast. The mine would prove to be quite a resource for Verimothris's advance. I want you to, to behead the tainted foreman of the mine, Grimson the Pale. Oh, we... We met Grimson. With his death, the mine shall be ours. Like, we totally killed this guy already. Goodbye. And now he wants us to go back and do it again. Oh. Good? I'd love to see an MMO with, like, retroactive quest completing. Whereby, if I run to an area and I fight a bunch of guys, and one of the quests in the area I'm running to is going to be to fight those same guys, I'd like to see it recognize like oh hey you already killed 10 bears quest complete good job like some of those side quests might just be like passive quests for the area that you could complete naturally and not have to wait until you have the quest same thing for killing named guys like the guy should be like oh wait you've already killed this guy well thank you for that and then we should get a quest complete right this had better be good you return so i assume your investigations bore fruit you say that this ring was worn by a woman, recently killed? The only nearby source of such a body would be the mass graves in Tearsfall. The Rothide Knolls must be taking those corpses to Fenrir Isle. Before we launch an assault on Fenrir Isle, we must determine who is behind the Rothide Knolls. Our apothecaries believe their origin lies within the strange fluid that flows through their bodies. Go to Fenrir Isle, east of the decrepit ferry, and collect Rothide Icker from the knolls you find there. Bring it to Apothecary Renferal, stationed outside the sepulcher. Our time will come. Alright. So we have to go over here. Fight the rod hides. We have to go back into the Deep Elam Mine. And uh, take care of that named guy again. But you know, the first thing we should do is empty our inventory. Speak quickly. I know, it's exciting. Uh, we're just going to get rid of basically everything at this point. We're getting so much light leather that I'm not using that I'm kind of over like holding onto the scraps. Hmm. 
Mm, that's really all we can get rid of. Doesn't leave us with a whole lot of space. Trust no one. And then we have to we have to go back to Undercity. And hope there's a pet trainer there that can teach our bear how to taunt. So let's take care of that uh, between things here. And on the way we can enjoy the sights and sounds of Silver Pine. I feel like in Classic, you fly like so low to the road and so close to the ground compared to the flight paths in Retail. That could be... That could be totally wrong, but it just feels that way. Sometimes we go really low. Right now we've gained a significant height, but a minute ago we were like skirting six feet off the road. I do have the Exploring the Eastern Kingdom's lore book. I need to go and reread and just see what it says about the Undercity and what it says um, the Undercity was used for. A couple of you guys left some comments, but I'm going to check the Eastern Kingdom's lore book and just see if it has any interesting tidbits about the Undercity that I don't already know or that aren't told to us while we're in-game. Uh, let's talk to a guard. And they will tell us where the Hunter Trainer is. Oh! <laughs> and you guys, you guys probably knew this already. Uh, yeah, there's no Hunter Trainer here because we're playing Classic. And if a race can't be a class, I guess they don't have a trainer in their city. Well, okay then. I guess this means that if I if I want to do this training right now, we would have to just go back uh, to the Barrens. I'm gonna abandon Wild Hearts. We're probably not gonna do it. I think we can get the items anyway, even if we don't have the quest. Okay, this. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we'll do Ergol's Folly, we'll do Border Crossings. Hopefully the follow-ups for both of those will be yellow. If that's the case, we will then go back to the Barrens, we'll train our pet, who should have gained a couple more levels by then, and we'll start off uh, back in the Barrens working on these. So next time we'll do these two, and probably the episode after that will find us back in the Barrens, and, unless these both chain into two more green quests, which I really can't see them doing, but you know, they could. Uh, but that is the plan for now, guys. I think this is just going to be a good place to take a break then, get some rest experience. Let that build up. I want to say thank you again to all you guys for showing up and for all the comments and support for the series. Thank you so much. It does mean the world to me, so take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Silver Pine really soon. Bye now.